from the throne of grace. We receive your joy. We receive your peace this morning. We declare, I declare life and restitution. As a matter of fact, get both gloves up and start receiving. Hallelujah. I declare life. I declare restoration. I declare the joy of the Lord. I declare the promises of God. Come on, sometimes you got to declare when you're aware the enemy's there. You better start declaring the word of God because it's the only thing that will work in the season when nothing else is working. His word will work every time. The grass will win. The flower will fade, but the word of God will stay and will build and will stand. Woo! Hallelujah. Somebody shout before I explode in this place. Somebody give God an earthquaking rattle of your praise right now. Rattle some bones together. Some stuff that separated in this season are coming back together. Was waiting for you. Yeah. Somebody declare life. Say restoration. There's restoration coming. <laughs> There's restoration coming because God from Genesis to Revelation is a God of restoration. And the same God that brought the children of Israel out of bondage is bringing you out. <laughs> I said he's bringing you out. He brought them out. But then there was something they had to do. They had to release something. Because God had released them, they had to be thankful. Come on, somebody. It was their unthankfulness that kept them bound. They were loose from chains and ties, but yet still on the inside of them, there was a murmurer. There was a complainer. And I come to tell you, if you're looking for an anointing and you're complaining and you're murmuring in this spirit, in this season, I'm here to tell you, you will not be moved. You will not move from this season. Matter of fact, you will die here. But I'm looking for somebody that says, I'm untied. I'm unbound and unwound. But I'm tied up to a new thing. I'm tied up, tangled up in Jesus. And where Jesus is, there is liberty. And where Jesus is, there's, I wish I had somebody help me preach right now. That where Jesus is, healing is. That where Jesus is, his peace is all around me. That his spirit is leading and guiding me into everything that's true. I said he's true. I said the devil's lying to you. He's trying to make you think you're still tied to that addiction, tied to that struggle, tied up to that old ex-spouse. I'm here to tell you, if he liberated you, don't you get tied up to what he's freed you from. I wish I had somebody who would praise God for a miracle that's in this moment for your making. Somebody open your mouth right now and give God your greatest shout of praise. Because what they had to do was release because they had been released. You say, well, there was a seat, there was a moment for it. Guess what, ladies and gentlemen? If there's ever a time that you're in a moment to release. We've been silent long enough. I'm going to say this. The church that's been silent has said something. What are you saying in your silence? Come on, somebody. God has said it's time to stop being silent. Silent no more. That we're in the killing millions of babies. And God said give life. I come to tell you if you've been untied from bondage and God spared your life when you almost made the decision. It's time for you to be a deliverer because God delivered you. Are you hearing me right now? That when uh, They're saying that certain lifestyles are the way to go that doesn't line up with the truth of God's word. The devil is a liar. Come on, somebody. God delivered you from it. He wants you to be a deliverer. I said the devil wants to keep you limited and bound because he understands the threat you are to the spirit of darkness. I'm looking for a praiser. I'm looking for somebody who has the promises of God on the inside of your belly and God brought me out so that I can bring you out. Somebody praise him right now. Woo! Whoa! So it don't matter where you came from, where you've been or what you've done. God isn't holding you hostage. The devil is a liar. 
I say God isn't coming to condemn you, but he come to save and seek that which is lost up in this place today. If you come to the house of God and you're lost, guess what? You just found him. Hallelujah. You come to the right place at the right time and everything in your past cannot hold you to what God has for your present and your future. I want to understand, I want to go back track just for a minute because Moses on the mountain, he did something. The Bible says he turned. And there came a fresh manifestation. How many knows that when you turn, there's a fresh manifestation? And old things are passed away. And all things become new. Come on, somebody. One song a psalmist wrote, my shoes are new. I got new shoes getting ready to move. Come on, somebody. It's time to take off the old shoes of last season because I got new shoes for 2021. I got new shoes because 2020 almost wore me out, and I'm not about to bring in the residue of last season. I'm not about to take in 2021 what the enemy tried to stick on me and hold me back with. I'm not about to go backwards, but there's an oxen anointing for a plower. I'm putting my hands to it. Come on, somebody. I'm putting my hands to it. I'm changing my shoes. I'm changing my attire. Somebody give me some space because the pressure just changed me into a praiser. Somebody. Woo! Hey! Turn your neighbor and say, I'm just changing. I'm changing. I'm changing. I'm changing my shoes. I'm, I'm changing my views I'm changing into all thing new I'm changing I'm changing I'm changing I'm changing I'm changing don't look at me funny I'm just changing hallelujah don't look at me funny I'm just changing into what he's wanting me to change into that everything that we've had to go through in this season is not just so he's looking for the one who will stay in see he's looking for the one who will come he's looking for the one who will join online I'm here to tell you the Bible says that in the last day Hebrews 10 and 24 he says gather together he says gather together even the more when you see the day approaching and there's a remnant of people who've not given up on the power of God who've not given up on the outpouring of God's spirit I'm not listen I'm not negating the fact that we've been in some hellish situations this has been the hardest seasons of our life but just before the blessing comes the hardest are you hearing me just before heaven falls you got to walk through hell you got to walk through demons and devils up to your eyeballs but if you still got a song of praise on the inside of you you got a promised land that's awaiting for you my goodness Woo. I still got a family I still got some children and I'm blessed and highly favored I'm blessed I come against habits and addictions in this house. Come on, somebody. You're too blessed to stay connected to that. God didn't call you to be bound by that counterfeit comfort. God said, be free. Come on, somebody. Reason you're so numb in his house, because you're hooked up still. He freed you from it, but you said, I got to go back for another. No, in the name of Jesus, no, in the name of Jesus, be free. <laughs> I said be free in the house I said be free from that spirit of pornography be free in the name of G I, come to, I didn't come to play I came to push out principalities I came to pulverize principalities today be free from that spirit of gossip and release the spirit of the gospel of Jesus come on somebody I know we like to pick on that one and, and this one and we don't like to call it out but I'm here to tell you the most, uh, most mean spirited people are selfish righteous people People that are sitting in the church and they do more than they do more of gossip than spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. Those seasons are over. They're not going to work anymore. God says, I'm pulling a remnant out. Just like he pulled a woman out of the rib, he's pulling the bride of Christ. Ooh. There's some water flowing. He's pulling you out. I said, you're coming out. 
The bride is coming out without spot. Shh. Everybody stand to your feet right now because I see the enemy trying to distract. I said, you're coming out. I said, you're coming out. Shh. Lift your hands in this place and just begin to worship him in your way with your heart. You're coming out. You're coming out of fear. You're coming out of depression coming out of grief. Some of you have been in a season of grief, but God's bringing you out of that grief because in order for you to go where He needs you to go, you got to step out of it. There's a season for grief, but then there's a season to step out of that grief. And I prophesy the power of life over you and life over your home and life over every room. That where the enemy has prematurely taken lives, he will have to pay. Because we're going for a life, for every life that he took. The body of Christ is coming out of the side and we will not be denied. The remnant. I said the remnant. Those who can hear the voice of God, you're not going to be bound any longer, but God is releasing you from bondage. Words that used to haunt you won't even worry you anymore. Most importantly in your mind, God said life over the captive. Peace, restoration. He said declare my word over Limited, restricted lives. Those who are in the midst of difficulty and discouragement. Maybe you're in here or you're online, but I speak life and resurrection power over you and everybody in this room and those of you who are watching online. It's been difficult. Little has been accomplished, right? Because the enemy wants to hold you back with that mentality so difficult we're, we're not moving forward the devil is a liar you just wait because you've gained a lot of ground whether you see it or not Shh. the enemy wants to keep you from your appointment the enemy wants to keep you from your empowerment many hearing me right now you've been pressed if you have been pressed on every side in this season I know that's pretty much everybody but if you have I want you to just be that's me lift your hand and say I'm, that's me I'm, I've been pressed it's almost taken my joy the enemy's tried to take my purpose my experiences God gave me I almost let go of because I've been under so much pressure Come on, somebody. You know, so many people will try to place things on you, and I say this, I've said this before, and I'm going to say it now. You can take some things that I may have inquired of books, but you can't take an experience. Come on, somebody. When you have relationship with somebody that's more greater, that's greater than then anything that this world has stacked against you, you can't take away each and every experience of God. Nebuchadnezzar knew he could not turn the hearts of the three Hebrew children against God. The enemy knows he can't turn your heart against God. So what is he going to do? What did he do to them? What did Nebuchadnezzar do to them? He bound them. The enemy knows if he can't turn you from God, he'll do everything he can to bind you. Are you listening to me? The devil has bound you and entangled you and limited you and restricted you and oppressed you long enough. But guess what? I see some people who are fighters. You're not quitters. Some of you feel like you've lost your freedom, your liberty. You're moving, but it's like you're trying to 
run with your shoelaces tied together like you're running in quicksand in this season but I prophesy that darkness is being demolished right even now come on somebody I prophesy that when we get ready to release a declaration darkness is being demolished demons are being demolished principalities are being pulverized with your proclamation with your praise not with my preaching I'm just giving you something to be encouraged but you're about to release what you've been released from come on somebody you're about to release because you've been released from bondage you're about